वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल टूडे आई एम बैक विद द मोस्ट रिक्वेस्टेड वीडियो हाउ टू आई स्टार्ट प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर नीट ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन आई एम गोइंग टेन टिप्स सो लेट मी नो इन द कमेंट सेक्शन विच आर द टेन टिप्स वॉज यूजफुल फॉर यू एज यू नो आई हैव ऑलरेडी स्टार्ट द नीट सीरीज एंड अपलोड अ कपल ऑफ वीडियोज इफ यू हैव नॉट वॉच दैम यू कैन चेक द लिंक्स इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स थैंक यू नाउ लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट Switching to simple and basic phone will help you save time in avoiding chatting and playing video games. If a student uses a smartphone while studying, which will make him to lose his or her focus and concentration in her NEET exam. As you know, many MCQ questions are asked in a tricky manner, and that's why you need to be thorough with every line. You can take this as a challenge for just three months, and you will be happy and thankful because you have made. Try not to have too many friends to avoid peer pressure and other unwanted social activities. By sticking on more to social activities, your brain will shrink and you won't be able to concentrate more on your studies. Limit your friends to only the ones who can help you with studies or the ones with whom you can compete. Basically anyone that will help you in your studies. This will help you to put more efforts in your study routine and also help you to remember well in your examinations. Junk food is high in calories and low in nutrition. When you don't have a nutritious diet, your body will crave for energy, lacking which will feel fatigued easily. Not that you are barred from having, but try to keep it as minimal as possible. Eat lot of nuts, colored fruits and veggies, spinach and healthy salads, and also try to have a balanced diet which will keep you active all throughout the day. Don't get influenced by your competitor who would say I studied the whole night long. Never sacrifice to sleep for studies. They say the best food for the brain is sleep. You need to allow yourself 8 to 9 hours sleep every night. This will allow your brain to fully function the next day. Your concentration levels will remain high and you will have more energy throughout the day. As you know, in self studying, the ultimate learning has to be done by you. Whether you go to tutors or coaching center, try to make sure what is taught in there is covered by you that day itself. The benefit of self studying is improved performance, improved effect, and increased motivation and time management. Board exams are necessary. But make sure that even in your NEET exam, your target is 600 plus. Try to balance your study time by keeping your priorities first. Try to set a goal for your NEET exam and set a timetable. And most importantly, be consistent, and you will find the desired results. Try to make charts, flowcharts, mnemonics, and drawings in your study room instead of posters of Hollywood actors or singers. These things will help you a lot. So whenever you get up in the morning, you can see and learn and be able to recollect them. You can also stick important formulas, your inspiration need toppers, quotes, and pictures which motivates you. Taking break is allowing the brain to absorb what you have learned. Don't study continuously for more than hour. Have 15 minutes break in between each hour, and don't devote that break into something that will divert your attention. You can eat healthy snacks, take a brisk walk, or listen to songs. This would greatly refresh your mood.
Many people work hard but only a few become really successful. That's because smart work is what makes a difference. Hard work calls for dedication and discipline, keeping you consistent along the way, whereas smart work adds the flavor of X factor which quickens your success rate for your exams. As you know, NEET is an objective MCQ based exam. Only a smart study will give you fruitful results. Mark up the whole NCRT, make as many mnemonics as possible, revise the formula based derivation problems in physics and also don't forget to try the shortcuts for numericals in physics as well as chemistry. This may sound new to you but trust me this is one of the studying hacks which will help you. You can teach or recite any difficult topic to your friend or sister or brother. By doing this, the information will be stored permanently in your memory. This will in return help you to remember well during your exams. Friends, if you like this video, please give it a like, share, and subscribe, and also do a comment on which tip was useful for you. Thank you.